Hey everybody, it is Jessie from Peach Manifesto and welcome to another empties video. So in this empties video, I'm going to start with uh, pedicure stuff because that's usually the majority of stuff that I go through. And we went through seven pounds of peach paraffin. Peach is my favorite, kind of goes with, you know, the Peach Manifesto vibe. Um, I also went through um, a BCL. Now this one was the milk and honey, but I did add some other lotion that I was trying to get rid of into it to kind of mix it up. But then it got kind of thick and wouldn't really massage well. So I'm getting rid of that. I've also gone through um, two uh, sugar scrubs. There's like a little bit in each, uh, but these are the ones I clean out and refill because I do have a five gallon pail of my favorite OPI sugar scrub that I just refill these in and use for myself. I also do retail them to my clients. And then I guess this could be nails or pedicure. I went through three bags of cotton rounds. Um, I do use these for a lot of things. I get them at Costco and I'm sure I've told you guys that I'm back into waxing now. So I have gone through the little kind of petite, small applicators. Um, I've gone through those, I like them. Um, I've also gone through three bags of the Dam's Den Damtastic hard wax. Um, I really like it. Um, it's just really fantastic to use. Um, another thing that I've gone through, I guess would be on the waxing side, would be these guys. They are just these little wooden sticks. I use them for pedicures, but these are also really nice to get into like the eyebrow for waxing. Um, and they're really affordable. So those are also from AliExpress. And then kind of, I would say, uh, waxing and electrolysis. Oh, do I have a second eye teeth? Um, Easy Bomb. Um, this is by Action to Gala. I love it. Um, it's really soothing after electrolysis or waxing. Um, yeah, it's really great. I highly recommend it. I do have a liter now, so I'm just refilling these bottles, which I love. Um, it's more economical that way. And then if I want to switch into kind of more Action to Gala stuff, I went through Enzyderm, which is the gel exfoliant. So it's like a chemical exfoliator. I love this for the facials. Um, it's just uh, makes your skin so soft, takes off all that dead skin. And let's go on to the kind of sanitary stuff. All right, so as usual, preempt CS20. Um, I have bought um, to replace this one the gallon um, just because it's a better price. I've gone through a little germ out. I think I have just like a little bit left of another one of these and then I have a big one of the Pure Life which I got at Costco. Uh, I went through um, some gloves. Uh, these ones were from Costco. I do prefer the Kirkland ones and I do have Kirkland ones. I bought like last time the Kirkland ones were in stock I bought a bunch. Um, and then I went through some face masks. They're the black ones. I just think they look really nice. And I went through the sterilizing, sterilizing bags, the self-sealing uh, pouches. I really like these. It's nice to have your tools in them. I just have mine like this and they're just ready to go and they stay nice and clean. Next up, some nail stuff. This actually takes me a long time to go through, which is the LCN Super Shine. Um, I love the way that it's like a cuticle oil and it shines up the nails. You kind of give them a little wipe with a towel afterwards and they're just completely photo ready without being soaked in cuticle oil and like no weird film on the nails. Um, I also went through two Valentino vents and two of the like dust blasters from Dollarama. I really like them just for doing some little cleaning on the shelves and stuff, things get dusty. And I went through an AliExpress bag, 200 eyeshadow, uh, eyeshadow applicators, and two bags of files, so 50 files, and a little bag of mini buffers. 
I don't use the mini buffers a lot, but they are handy to have when you get them. Um, every now and then I use them, but uh, they're nice to have on hand. Next up, um, I guess also with the waxing and the electrolysis is the Life Brand Witch Hazel. I will not be repurchasing this. This stunk so bad. Um, I don't know, I just prefer the, what is it called? Thayer's, this stuff, this Witch Hazel. Um, yeah, I like the unscented alcohol-free version. Um, so much nicer than this, which I don't think is alcohol-free. Yeah, this one has alcohol in it and it smells, so I'm not gonna be rebuying it. And it was not that much cheaper than Thayer's one, so it's not worth it in my opinion. Um, and one thing for electrolysis, um, F3 probes, 30, uh, went through those lashes. We went through a lash cleaner, which is, I think this is the Bella lash cleanser. Um, I just use it before I do any like tinting or a lash lift and tints. I also went through a uh, Dolly glue, which is my favorite glue. The ref ref Refecto Sil, one and two, which is the perma neutralizer. I'm not really in love with this new packaging, but it is what it is. Um, I also, I think I went through a couple of these. These are the guys that you use to like comb out the lashes. I don't know if you can see, the things are all like kind of bent up and they don't, I don't know, it's not working. So that's gone. And then a tint brush. I really liked it, but I have something that I like better now. So off with that and into some nail stuff. I have gone through four of my coarse bits. They're the, I don't know if you can see the coarse bits. Uh, these are from Wilson's on AliExpress, my favorite carbide bits. Um, but yeah, they do um, go dull after a while. So I usually, um, replace them in sets of five. So I think I, or seven, usually I have seven. So I think I had two in the last empties and these are the rest. Um, other things that I've gone through, a uh, shine on top coat and, um, the small version of the Luxio Hush, which is like a really pretty kind of taupey nude color. But yeah, that one, I went through and then something like this, I didn't really go through it, but um, it dried up is the Maxi Ink, it's in brown. Um, I'm trying to buy something on AliExpress to see if I can replace the brown ink. I don't really use alcohol inks a lot, but they are nice to have. Um, and then next up, it's just stuff that I'm letting go of. So the stuff I'm getting rid of, um, or letting go, I should say, I have a bunch of these brushes. These used to be my favorite, actually. Um, and as you can tell, they're like, well-loved. Um, I don't know why I was holding onto these once I switched to ones that I liked a little bit better. Um, I often had to trim these. Um, I was never really careful with them. I did use them as kind of my main gel brushes because um, they were like 50 cents. Like, I had a ton of them. But they were nice. Um, I just obviously found better ones. Um, they were good when I needed something really cheap because I'm just never careful with my brushes. And so yeah, I'm letting go of them. Um, another thing that I'm getting rid of is the BCL Spa Moisture Mask. Um, I got the kit, it's the CBD kit. So it had the bath salt, the scrub, the massage lotion, and the mask. I just like, I've tried to use the mask and I don't really like it. It's just not my, not my vibe. Um, it's like, I guess that's like the kind of luxury spa of pedicures when they use the mask and it's just not my jam. It smells nice. I love the CBD line. I use it a lot myself, but just the moisture mask, it's not for me. Um, I'm also getting rid of the last of these. Um, I think you all know that I have switched to the surgical brushes, which are easier to clean. They don't have these like, kind of like holes and stuff where all the dirt and stuff can hide out. And these just clean really nice and they're super, super cheap. And okay, do you guys remember when that, um, what was that called? It was almost like that stuff that they have in like, 
screens and then it dried and it would be like mood changing um so a lot i know a lot of people are like oh mine dried out mine didn't dry out but it turned into like a gelatinous blob and honestly i've never used it i played with it and it took forever to dry um you had to really encapsulate it really good like you couldn't go right to the edge it was kind of a pain in the ass for being like like basically a mood ring this is the stuff that's inside of mood rings right not my gym it still kind of works but it's like gelatinous blob nobody wants that um also i've gone through some uh scrapers as you can tell uh i've been a little aggressive with scrapers um i also use this for a while it's just like the hotel card also a little aggressive um and this i thought this was really cool this is for like stamping if you just want a part of a stamp you put this on and then you put your stamper and then you get it in that shape it was a really cool idea, but I never used it. And this one got like bent up. Uh, so I don't think it would work if I wanted to use it anyway. And last thing is I have a bunch of these hand towels with holes in them, probably because I use so much bleach. Um, they get old over time, but I got these years and years ago. So all my ones with like big holes, I'm getting rid of those. Um, and then I have special hand towels that are just for clients to use in my bathroom and they're really nice and white and like lush. So I replace those and I'm keeping all of these ones that aren't super holy for myself because I always have a little desk towel, a little hand towel on my desk to uh, dry stuff up on the client's hands and I use it to rest my elbow on and I always, always have a hand towel on my desk. Anyway, that was everything. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you all later. Bye-bye.